Friends, we have been bamboozled, hoodwinked, run amok, <laughs> led down the brimrose path, clickbaited. Oh, boy, howdy. What do I have to say about this episode? Oh, man. Well, this is a, you can't see me, but air quotes, review on the Acolyte episode seven. And oh, man. So, in short, yes, there will be spoilers. Biggest spoiler of all, this is a flashback episode of a flashback episode right before the season finale. Now, <laughs> now to add fuel to the flame, uh, it's a flashback to a flashback of one of the worst episodes to me in any Star Wars anything right it's such oh man now people are like oh well it's fleshing out what we saw it's giving character development it's giving this it's giving that well you know what it didn't give it didn't give an hour-long episode with a show that has a budget of 180 million dollars this episode very easily could have been in that third episode and that episode could have been an hour. I, there was four minutes left in this episode when credits rolled. Four minutes of credits. What do you mean? Like I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive into some of the issues. I don't. I, I'm trying not to go beat by beat, so people can go and make their own opinions of the show and whatnot. I don't want to go beat by beat, but I'm gonna. I'll dig into stuff in a second. But my biggest grievances is. With this show, almost every episode has ended on a cliffhanger, if not every episode has ended on a cliffhanger. Like, I, I remember in The Mandalorian, I think the episode to me was it, was, it was the episode where Din and Ahsoka work together, liberate that city, and then Din leaves. It doesn't end on a cliffhanger. You know, we're all like, okay, Din's going to go do more of his story, but boom, this happened. This was a thing. Okay, and I get it's a murder mystery. I get it. But Lord, the mystery is out. It's been out that that killer that was framing Osha was her twins. We already know. We already know. Well, we didn't know who killed the who killed her family, who killed the Yes, we did. We did. Everyone was claiming it was coming. It was very much the Jedi. Like what <laughs> what do you mean? Oh man, this episode literally should have been in th this should have been in ep uh, episode three. This, the episode should have been an hour. Like I, I do not understand why they didn't just do hour long episodes. Like if they, if they can, if they can drag out the boys season four to eight episodes. Yes, I said it. I said it. I've loved the boys since season one, but season four is just not it for me. We are not making any progress, my friends. But if they can drag out a show like the boys that has a thousand different stories to tell with a bunch of different characters, they can do that with this show. They really can. So to me, again, what did this accomplish for the overall story? Well, it got fleshed out that Tom and Baratheon is still t is still Tom and Baratheon Game of War Ga Game of War Game of Thrones fr fans you all know what I'm talking about I'm sorry my brain is a little fried after every episode I have a little bit of a headache I don't uh, I don't know why I've got my water on deck but you know anyway and it real really is just them wanting to take the girls Osha has already said she wants to go and it 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 gives us a behind the scenes like honestly. Honestly, if this episode was episode three, I don't think there'd be any issues. I really don't. Um, it, now, what it does do all right, I guess, is the pacing for me is fine. Um, what we get is we get a look at the whole uh, maze side of training, we get a look at, you know, Coral's back and forth with the mother. I can't even remember her freaking name. Um, and, and what's really sad is I really liked Coral. I know I didn't do an episode three review, which now I obviously didn't because we got we got episode 3.5 right here. Um, but 
I really liked Coral. I, I was hoping, I was hoping and praying that we would have more of her, and we did. It wasn't a lot, but it was whatever. Um, and and they gave us a bit more Coral. There, Coral, there was some more pushback to, hey, don't let these Jedi take her. Don't let these Jedi take her, this and that. But also, on the other side of that hand, it's kind of just like, well, Osha wants to go. The leader is saying she wants to go. And she can go, what's your, what's your issue? Like, and Coral really is to blame for everything happening because at one point towards the end of the episode, May is freaking out as we saw before. And Coral's like, that's right. Get mad. The Jedi aren't going to let them let you know when they're going to ambush you. Get mad. Go stop Osha. Stop her. And I'm like, what the, f what? Like, oh, I don't man i don't i really i don't so again so apparently yes the fire that may started did an electrical fire around stone burned down and, and started explosions everywhere oh whatever man I, <laughs> I, I i just can't i i can't get invested in this i want it to make sense i really really do and the big thing that doesn't make sense to me right is that uh, hello, why didn't we just, I don't know, use Night Sisters? They even mentioned Night Sisters. And uh, I can't remember, one of the Jedi says, uh, Night Sisters don't train or take in younglings or anything like that. And I'm like, like th these two could have been born of Night Sister magic, just like Savage was, or enhanced with Night Sister magic. Like, we, we know the Night Sisters can do some wild, freaky stuff. So why don't we just get Night Sisters? These are obviously Night Sister wannabes. It doesn't make sense why we didn't use Night Sisters. Even the powers of Force Possession, which they use in this episode, it could have been Night Sister magic. I don't understand. So uh, I can't remember her name, but the master that's over Soul and, and Soul are having a big back and forth. She's like, hey, hey I have a pad of one and you don't. And Soul's like, oh, well, I feel that Osha needs to be my Padawan. And she's like, don't confuse what you want with what Osha wants. And I'm like, bro, they want the same thing. He wants her to come train as a Jedi. She wants to come train as a Jedi. What are you talking about? Uh, and then we get a whole look onto the Force Possession thing with Tom and Baratheon getting possessed and uh, by the mother. And she's like, I'll give you everything you want. Just, whatever you want, just say it. And he's like, I want to go to Coruscant. Like that's that's his biggest thing is he just wants to leave because they've been there for seven weeks. Well, guess what, Mr. Baratheon? We've been watching the show for seven weeks. And we want to go home too. Uh, so I just, oh, I don't mean to just, I hate watching stuff that I need to rag on or I feel that I have to rag on or that I end up ragging on. And I know a lot of people, a lot of people's mindset is, well, if you don't like the show, just don't watch it. Well, I why do I watch it? Because I have just as much of right to watch it is the people who don't like it and the people who do like it. I'm a Star Wars fan at the end of the day. That doesn't mean I have to like everything, but I am very well entitled to give my opinion on something that I think is absolute trash. So like, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that this payoff, this, this, ep, this, this finale better be like an hour long. It better be an hour long because Soul has, we ended this episode literally the same way we ended the last episode. Soul was sitting down talking to May in the last episode. Now he's sitting down talking to Osha on the ship this episode and telling her what happened. And the last thing he says is May started a fire. Okay. Like, I, obviously we don't get the full conversation and I'm sure there's going to be a, a call back to that. There's one episode left. I feel like it's going to end on a cliffhanger. Anyway, when Soul in the last episode was talking to May and he was like, I, I've had 16 years to think about what I've got, what I was going to tell you. And you're going to listen to it. It's like, what are you going to tell her that you stabbed her mom? Oh, spoiler alert. Yeah. Soul, ki <laughs> Soul kills Osha and May's mom. Now, they come back to, uh, and how this happens is they come back to the, the Covenant and uh, Tom and Baratheon and Osha or, and Soul are talking about Osha. And the mother is like, wasn't wise to come back here, Jedi. Da -da 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 -da. And they're talking about possession stuff, right? And they're talking about like the witchcraft crap. 
and then suddenly the mother starts force teleporting without saying anything. She just starts doing it after, after uh, Coral gets into a ready to fight stance. Coral gets into a ready to fight stance. Tom and Baratheon ignites his lightsaber. The, the witch mom decides to poof into smoke. And, and as she's in mid smoke air, after Soul literally saw someone be possessed, Soul stabs the cloud somehow and kills her. And she goes, I was going to get Osha. She chose you. Yeah, no crap. We heard her say that. Why didn't you just say, okay, I'll go get Osha. She can come down and leave with you guys. It's that simple. It was, it's like, I don't understand where, where it came out of nowhere. And I think like forced teleportation and stuff. I, I, I like the idea of it. I heard only Palpatine can do it. Um, and this isn't night sister magic. This is very much the force. Um, now speaking of the force, they mention that Osha and May were created essentially one consciousness split into two bodies. I still, they're talking about the thread and this, I, my, I don't get it, dude. I, I really, I really don't get it. Are these two like, no, not even that. I was going to say, are these two girls just being possessed by the force of someone else? No. Because Coral's already said, well, I carried them, right? And the mom was like, I created them, whatever. Well, and I'm skipping over some stuff like the whole searching for a virgins thing and the girls are a virgins. And at the beginning, uh, Kalnaka is going on, is walking around looking for a virgins with a metal detector. I don't. I know like holocrons were a thing and they use technology to, to find force sensitives and stuff like that. But Qui-Gon just like happened upon Anakin. And I know there's theories and stuff out there that, that whatever, but Qui-Gon, they went to, they went to Tatooine. He happened upon Anakin. He's like, huh, this kid is very strong in the force without even needing to test his blood yet. It's like, can't they just sense, isn't that where this is all coming from? They could sense that this, that this place had some big power ener energy stuff. So now I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever. That's, that is what it is. I didn't care for it. It's man, this episode. So we finally, now I'm, I'm jumping a little bit. We finally get to see the Wookiee Jedi fight. And how was it? Like you saw the thumbnail trash. Um, <laughs> so after soul kills the mother mother coral poof smoke well actually no her and soul have a back and forth soul's like what did i just do and mother coral's beating the crap out of him and whatnot and she's like fight me i'm like why would you want to have a fight he just killed your lover the mother of your children why aren't you straight up tom holland green goblining this dude right now why do you want him to fight back why kill him like he's dodging her punches and stuff. And it gets to a point where they're like in a lockup and he's like, kill me. Da, 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 or she's like, fight me. Da, 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 da. And soul's just like, I don't, I don't know how many of you have seen sons of anarchy, but when Tig gets beat up by Opie and he's just taking it, that's exactly what's happening. So then what happens is the fight, you know, it breaks off. And then she, uh, mother corals, like, you know what? I'm going to poof. So she poofs away and instead of someone stabbing that gas orb, she flows away and she's, she's in the air and she's like, you shouldn't have brought him here, blah, 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 blah. And Tommen's like, my mind is fortified. Now you, you can't control me again. So instead of possessing soul and just galloping himself with a lightsaber, she possesses Kalnaka and, and, and for, and, you know, fights them as, Kalnaka. Now, from what I was understanding, all those witches were possessing Kalnaka. It wasn't just Mother Coral, because it keeps bouncing back and forth to the witches, and I'm going to call it their sept. Um, and their all eyes are all black, and Kalnaka's eyes are black, and 
whatnot. And they're fighting Kalnaka, and it's just, it's pretty cool to see, you know, Wookiees be just a freight train. He beats the crap out of Tommen. He's about to, I think he's about, yeah, he's about to kill Soul. Or I can't remember exactly. I think he was about to kill. He was about to kill one of them. Anyway, he ends up being freaking Hurricane Ronad by the female Jedi that was, you know, landing the ship somewhere. And she ends up just using the force to clear his mind. And that floors all the female Jedi or the female witches, all the, all the, the witches. So I feel that knocked them out. And then May blowing up the place killed them. And is that what they're going with it? It was actually May who killed everybody. Cause I, 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 if that's the case, then what was this revenge tour that May's going on? Motherfucker, you killed these people. And maybe that's what soul is going to tell May in the next episode. And May is very much just not going to believe it. She'd be like, no, what the heck are you talking about? Um, on another note, what what else happened? Um, oh yeah, there. So there was a part where I was like, "What the heck, dude?" So they're on the ship, and I think it's right after the training or the the testing where they were supposed to be, the girls were supposed to be lying. I'll get to that. But anyway, I I, I this is oh man, so. Soul's trying to plead his case to be like, these girls aren't safe here. This witch magic isn't isn't safe. They are literally they marked a girl with witch magic. And I'm like, yeah, and the Jedi send teenagers and children as commanders and generals into war. So what are you talking about? If you're gonna write something like that and condemn one thing, you gotta make sure that the person who's condemning something that their group hasn't done something astronomically worse. It doesn't, it it doesn't make any sense at all. Like they marked her with, with dark magic. Yeah. And Jedi literally used children as cannon fodder. (laughs) What? Like, Oh my gosh, dude. Now, if Knights of the old Republic and the old Republic is canon, which I'm under the impression it is because Revan is canon and I think Satil or Basil is canon. So that era is canon when Sith acolytes were a thing, which my thing, and I'll, I'll, I'll return to what I'm saying, is how have they not even identified Sith as Sith or said Sith or Sith when this is like 100 years before the Phantom Menace and they have all these ancient texts and all this stuff, but somehow Soul doesn't know what a Sith is? Hell out my face. Returning to what I was saying was that there there were literal Sith and Jedi wars. The children were very, the the Padawans, the younglings were very much probably killed by Sith in that era. So yes, younglings were using cannon as cannon fodder before the prequels. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm sorry, friends. I, I don't mean to just rant about, but this, this, this was such an easy show to write. It really was. And it's just like, any real storytelling behind anything that they could have done or that they tried to do is just null and void. Like, I feel like we're going to get the reveal that Kamir is that grandmaster lady's, um, youngling. Right. And in this last episode, but literally that could have been a whole thing in and of itself at the beginning of this episode, it could have been, Instead of who killed these Jedi, it could have been who is this person? Why are they doing this? We have one episode left, and none of this makes any sense. I I don't understand. Again, there's a lot that I haven't covered here yet, or covered in this episode. And it's because if you want to go and watch for yourself, but to me, I'm I'm pointing out my the things that I noticed, the things that I that I that I that I tacked on. And unfortunately, a lot of it's just not positive. Like, it's not even like I'm like, oh, they're pushing of this. They're pushing of that. They're doing this. They're doing that. Like, it's just that the story just isn't coherent. And if you like the Acolyte, good for you. I feel that people got to be forcing themselves to like the Acolyte. I, I didn't finish Andor. I just wasn't invested in the character. The story wasn't it. So I'm not going to count. When I say this statement, I'm not putting Andor in there because I haven't, I haven't fully seen Andor. 
everything post Book of Boba Fett has not been good. Kenobi, forgettable. You don't even remember Kenobi until someone mentions it. The Book of Boba Fett, again, another incoherent story that was unnecessary, but that could have been cool, but absolutely just flopped. The Mandalorian season three, I felt nothing watching the entire show. I've done, I did podcast episodes. It was, it was literally just so bland. Tales of the Empire, Tales from the Empire, whichever one it is. Vision, I loved Vision season one. There was, I think, one episode in Vision season one that I didn't like. But other than that, I loved Visions. Vision season two, trash. Trash. Tales of the, Tales of the Jedi, the Dooku stuff was good. The Ahsoka stuff. Literally, you could have just replaced it with Cal Kestis. That's what they did. This, the Acolyte, $180 million, man, for a TV show. You, you, for one season, one season, you could have told such good stuff. Like, oh, man. And where's this Acolyte? Who's the Acolyte? Kamir's been said he wants an Acolyte. And yes, the big one for me is that this episode had nothing to do with what we just saw. It had nothing to do with with Osha putting on that helmet. It had not like I feel that maybe Kamir might tell somehow knows about what happened to her people. And Kamir's gonna be like, uh, well, you have the helmet on, and don't forget, Soul killed your family and uh, and May killed your family. But also, 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 I'm thinking maybe that this what Osha's seeing here. Or what Osha, what's shown in this last episode is what Osha is seeing in the helmet. Um, but I, that may be giving them too much credit. I don't know. Oh, I, I just, I, I wish, I wish I could like this show. I know there's a ton of people out there who love it, who are, whether or not they're getting benefits from Disney or they want to, they want to hype it up so that Disney will notice them and take them to a red carpet event. Okay, sure good for you there are I, I i don't know any like common person that actually likes the show on my instagram and tiktok all that stuff i have not seen a single person posting about the acolyte being like this is peak that, or the hype that they that, that people were posting stuff because i there's honestly been no hype around anything other than the kenobi invader fighting ahsoka and anakin's uh clone wars flashbacks in the ahsoka show and then seasons one and two of the Mandalorian. I'm not seeing any hype edits. I'm not seeing any, anybody commend this show. Like I, 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 I'm not seeing anything. And the stuff I am seeing are people criticizing the show. Like it's, it's, it's not even like, Oh, people are review bombing it. It's speaking for itself. And you know, I know people are like, well, just cause you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. I'm just, I have a very big Star Wars fan base. Like, not that they're my fans, but like I have mutuals and friends on Instagram and TikTok that are just solely Star Wars creators. Nothing. They haven't said they like it. They haven't said they don't like it. Maybe they're not saying anything because they'll get attacked either way. But this show just is not it. I don't, I don't get what people like about the show. I I really don't. Um, Again, this episode felt like it should have just been part of episode three, that they should have intertwined both of these, made it an hour, 45, uh, 45 minutes to an hour, called it a day. The episode would have been all right. Um, All I have to say about episode three is I just didn't like it. I, I didn't care for it. I did not like it. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I don't have much more to say. I wish, I wish things were different with the show. I wish that the creators of the show and the writers of the show cared more about the story than they do pushing merchandise or, or their press appearances or what. Cause it's it, like the people, the, the actors in the show, right? Especially this episode, they seemed like they were just reading scripts. They didn't seem like they were acting well in their press interviews and crap like that they seem so much more worried about their what they're saying about the show hyping the show promoting the show than they actually did being in the show 
and that that's concerning to me like up until the third act of this show and i'm not saying the third act was good i didn't like it i'm saying until they had to do like physical stuff or try to evoke other like angry emotions nobody it wasn't even like the jedi were stoic everyone just seemed bored everyone except for souls actor no one seemed like they cared to be there <sighs> and I, I guess they feel the same way I do because I don't care to watch it anymore. Unfortunately, I, I'm not going to get these these past however many weeks, seven weeks of my life back or six weeks because we got the first two episodes in one. But I don't know. I don't know. What did you think? Let me know down below. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> God help us. <laughs>